In today's video, I'm going to present how to create a modular synth with InGen on AMS LV2. The first thing is what is a modular synthesizer? So a modular synthesizer is like your normal synth, except you can plug the different modules the way you want together and create your own synth. So it gives you much more freedom to create exactly the sound that you want. If you think that modular synths are a thing from the past, well, that's my favorite band, Nine Inch Nails, and they use a lot of modular synth to create their sounds. So the software we are gonna use is InGen, and that's the blank canvas where you will add your plugins to create your synth. So the first thing I'm going to do is add two audio outputs and a limiter just before my outputs. So I would advise everyone to use a limiter especially when creating modular scenes, the sound can get quite loud suddenly. So just to make sure to protect your speaker, add a limiter right there. You can remove it once your synthesizer is finished. On this first module, I'm going to use the internal GUI provided by InGen to change the parameters of my plugins. Now I'm going to add a note, another internal plugins from InGen. The notes translate the MIDI information into velocity, frequency, gate, and trigger, and that's one of the way we are going to drive the different plugins we will add. The plugins we are gonna use are a part of Alza Modular Synth, and that's a short demo of the original software there. The modules from Alza Modular Synth are driven by voltage control, which is a signal that goes from minus one to one. So here I'm adding a plugin that translates frequency into such signal. The first sound generator I'm going to add is a voltage control oscillator. So an oscillator is a module that generates simple waves such as sine waves or square waves. On here I'm gonna add it straight away into my output limiter. So you can hear the sound now. And if I connect the frequency to the VCO, I can now control the notes. The evident issue here is that I cannot control the gain of the note, and that's where the VCA or the voltage control amplifier comes in. A VCA is an amplifier that the gain is driven by a VC signal. So I'm gonna add here between my limiter on my VCO, and by default we are not gonna hear anything because the gain is at zero. So I'm going to open the GUI of the VCA and change the gain manually. But obviously now we will want something to drive the gain for us. That's where the envelope comes in. An envelope is pretty much an advanced gate where you can control the attack on the release. And you can use it to drive a VCA, but you can use it to drive a lot of other stuff such as voltage control filter, etc. In our case here, it will just drive the gain of the VCA. So I connect my node gate on trigger to the gate on trigger input of the envelope on the out of the envelope to the VCA. And there you go, I can now play simple notes. As I said previously, the whole point of a modular synth is to be able to connect modules the way you want, and I'm gonna demonstrate that with a voltage control filter. So this type of filter are driven by VC signal again, and in this case, I'm gonna just place it between my VCO and my VCA. The IMS filter provides low pass, high pass, etc. And you can hear now how it modifies the sound. If I go inside the GUI, I can change the type of filter manually and other parameters. But again, we would like something else to drive the frequency cut for us, for example. And that's where we are gonna connect our envelope to the frequency input of the VCF. I'm gonna change the settings of the envelope so that the changes are more gradual and you can really hear how the envelope is going to drive the VCF. So I just make the timescale attack on release much slower, back to my keyboard. And you can now really hear the envelope driving the voltage control filter. I 
I can go back into the VCF, change the type of filter to a low pass, for example, and you will be able to hear again how it drives this type of effect. So here you have it, a very simple scene creating an engine, and I now leave you with an example of a more complex one. So all the details about where to find the plugins are below the video. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to ask. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.